Hey everybody, welcome to another installment of Brad Eats Stuff. Today I went by Kokuichibanya, which is a widespread Japanese curry chain, and picked up something they only sell in the coldest months, so December and January, uh, soup curry. In fact, roast chicken soup curry. Um, I also got extra vegetables and extra roast chicken. So let's see, uh, first of all, let's see what I got. So as you can see, I've got my curry with vegetables, and I've also got my roast chicken separate because I got extra. Um, that's not going to fit in that little bowl. I'm going to have to put it in my own bowl, but I don't mind. All right, so I've got everything put into my own bowl. Looks like we have onion, carrot, potato, half a hard-boiled egg, and uh, might be some cabbage in there as well. Um, I also got it uh, yonkara which is effectively six times the normal level of spice. Uh, so let's give it a try. Okay, we have our big bowl of soup curry with roast chicken. All right, let's see if it's any good. Let's start with the potato. Got a nice potato there. Okay, it's nice. Nice piece of baked potato. All right. Um, this whole thing smells... A little bit like spicy curry. Uh, let's get a good piece of a roast chicken. Mm. Mm. So that's really nice. Um, it goes very well with the um, nice spicy curry broth. Mm. You don't have to get it this spicy, by the way. Uh, I like spice in my curry and in my ramen. So I always get it um, nice and spicy. Uh, with Kokuichibanya, you got to be careful. Whereas most places are a one-to-one -one ratio, Kokuichi moves a little more exponential. So ikkara is one times, nikara is two times, sankara is four, and yonkara is six, uh, gokara is 12, and after that it just gets crazy. Um, if you can handle that kind of thing, then I say go for it. But uh, it's best to start small and work your way up just to make sure. All right, uh, let's cleanse the palate just a little bit. Uh, one moment here. All right, now we're back. Uh, let's go ahead and have this half a hard-boiled egg. Get a little extra broth to go with that. Mmm. 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 Mm. Okay. This is really good. It's not like regular Japanese curry. It is a soup with a nice, really nice curry-flavored broth with plenty of vegetables. Um, <clears throat> usually comes with eggplant. I've never liked eggplant, so I always ask them to take out the eggplant. Um, it's supposed to have some okra in here somewhere, but I'm not seeing it. There's green beans as well. Jesus, there's a lot of vegetables. And like I say, I got double. Um, with double vegetables and double roast chicken, um, and no rice, because you can get it with rice, but I, I'm not interested in that. Um, it costs me a little over 1,500 yen. So it is a little expensive if you get a little bit, if you get all the extra stuff. But um, as is, um, it's about 990, I believe. Um, anyway, I absolutely recommend having this if you've got the opportunity, uh, especially in December, January, the coldest time of the year. Um, it's really nice having this big bowl of vegetables, chicken, and curry. Now, you can get it just vegetables, in which case I think you get some lotus root and some other stuff, but, I mean, I want a little bit of chicken with mine. Yeah. Mmm. Nice carrot. Um, <clears throat> I will definitely be getting this again uh, before winter ends. Uh, maybe not with so many add-ons, but yeah, this is something that I really look forward to every year, and uh, they haven't changed the formula, so it's really nice to get again. Anyway, I have lots of this left, and I will finish it off camera. But as always, thanks for stopping in, and we'll see you in the next one.